everybody, welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. This shit is not for kids today, ladies and gentlemen. We are finishing our series of Elite 73, completing the figure reviews. We, get, You guys know we've already covered Triple H, Kyrie Sane, Daniel Bryan, and Aleister Black. Today we are going to finish off the series with Elias and Grand Metalik. And not only do we have the regular version of Grand Metalik, we have the black version. I'm pretty sure the black version is the Chase variant. So we have both versions here. Very, very awesome. Very thankful for it. Cannot wait to get into it. Very incredible stuff. This Elias figure looks absolutely fantastic in the packaging. Like, that face sculpt is probably one of the greatest of all time. It's right up there with that Daniel Bryan. But what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to go ahead and get into the packaging and then get in through the things like we always do. And at the end of the video, we are going to rank every figure in Elite Series 73 from worst to best. You guys know when we covered the last figure in the series, we always rank the set from worst to best in my own personal opinion. So stick around so you see that ranking at the end. If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video go over to ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com use the promo code mdtoys you will save 10 percent and you can get in on all the epic stuff going on over there i have plenty of freaking figure fodder or fodder and figures you missed out on that are going to be really cheap so definitely grab all that and i think you can use it code mdtoys to save an additional 10 percent but shutting the hell up and continuing with the review guys let's go ahead and get into it on the side you do have a beautiful image of grim metalik on either side they even on the black version they gave us the blue picture on the side i guess that's just what they they do. You have a beautiful image of Elias on the back. Um, the the you know the little Ritos on the the Ritos. The little the little bios on both of the Grand Metal Leaks are the same. So you guys, if you, you want to read it, you can pause it now. You have the rest of the figures in the wave spinning around. You have another image of Elias and Grand Metal Leaks. Same thing on the other one. And with that being said, guys, we are completely finished with the packaging. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack Elias, Grand Metal Leak, and Grand Metal Leak out of their Grand Metal packaging. Jesus Christ. Big mistake. So here's Elias and both versions of Grand Metalik out of their packaging, guys. And I must tell you right now, I think that Elite Series 73 from top to bottom is a very, very strong set. Every single figure in this set is outstanding. Like from Alistair Black, Daniel Bryan, Triple H, Kyrie Sane, Grand Metalik, and Elias. All of them, like from head scans to just parts and details and everything, guys. I think that Mattel has one of their best sets ever on their hands with this Elite Series 73. Now we will get into it, and I know that it seems like the last few series have been that way, man. Like, every single figure they're churning out has just been freaking money team. Kind of ridiculous how good these figures are getting, and they're only going to get better and better as we go up in series. I mean, we're only on 73. Can you imagine Elite Series 100? But being the last three figures in the set, we are going to rank them from worst to best, which I think already in this review, I can tell you that, my God, this is going to be very difficult. But what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to compare both the Chase variant to the regular version, and we are going to run through all the figures' accessories and take a detail <laughs> and we are going to take a detailed look at all three of these figures. So what we're going to do is run through Grand Metal League's accessories together, both different versions, and then both Grand Metal League's together. And then we'll run it back and do the same thing for Elias, and then we will rank all of Elite Series 73 from worst to best. So let's go ahead and get started. So for Grand Metal League's accessories, guys, covering the Chase variant version and the regular version, you get the exact same accessories, obviously, but they are a little bit different. You guys can see here. I think this is a newly molded entrance jacket. I don't think this is Sin Cara's or anything like that. You can see this nice detailing they have going over. It's like a scaling pattern or like a I don't know how to really describe it. It kind of feels like a, like scales or something like that. You do get these blue clips that do port in on there. Very removable. It's very easy to remove so nothing crazy like that. On the Chase variant version it is red instead of blue so that's pretty cool. It contrasts with the black and I don't think there's a ton of red on the black version but there's your differences. That is the only difference between the two interest jackets is the color on the front of the buttons and then for interchangeable hands you do get interchangeable pointing fingers for both on the chase variant you do get black which is because he is wearing all black gloves so you get the pointing fingers and then you get interchangeable black mic holding hands and then for his regular version you do get the skin tone hands which are the same which are just the pointing finger and the mic holding hands so both accessories are the same accessories they are just a little bit different in color and stuff of that nature to go with this specific attire whether you get the chase variant or the regular version but now that we've covered his accessories guys let's get into Grand Metalik himself. So looking at Grand Metalik, guys, you will see here, I mean, I don't know exactly what Grand Metalik looks like, but I think underneath a mask, if you compare it to what he looks like on the side of the packaging or the back of the packaging, I know we usually do a comparison of what they look like up next to their head sculpt. And you guys can see, I mean, I think it works pretty well. I mean, I like the gold stuff going over the mask. I think he has a 
really unique look of his mask. It kind of looks like a demon face or like a face opening up or kind of like a Spider-Man slash Spawn look to it. I know the uh, you know the colors aren't right, but I think for the most part it looks pretty good. I like all these different molds we got going on. And on the back you do have his nice ponytail sticking out the back, which is very nice. Going down to the back of the figure, you have the nice gold and blue and silver going down. And you have the little red chest piece right here. This is a new torso mold. I don't think we've ever seen this torso mold. I could be wrong about that. And if we weren't getting that new Pentagon Jr. figure from whoever the hell's making that figure, I think this would be a really good base for a Pentagon. Uh, comparing it to the black version so you guys can kind of see the differences here with the black and the red and the gold compared to the blue and the gold. Going down to the sides, you can see the differences in the colors on the armband slash gauntlets. Uh, you have sort of like a spider. This reminds me of Spider-Man right here on the waistband. Does that not look like Spider-Man? You have the M right there for Metalik. You have the nice gold pattern, the nice silver on either side. I love all the different triangular patterns going on. Again, the tights are pretty much the exact same, except these are in black, and then these are in blue, but then the gold and silver are flipped on the designs. On the butt, you do have the nice designs going on again, and then into the boots, there are slightly different, which I thought was pretty cool as well. They're both that gold, like, stardust color, but uh, the, the blue version has white laces, and the gold version does not have any, and then they have that sort of, like, silver tone going over the top with the white outsoles, and then over here, you have some black modern lines going on, and then the white outsoles to match, so they are very different. I mean, the, the tell me which one you like down in the comment section below. Do you like the blue version or the black version? I think it kind of works like if you were to turn Grand Metalik heel, you could use the heel version and then or the black version, and then if you wanted to, you know, just use him for Lucha House Party or something else, you could use the blue version. So comment down below which one you like better. I think I like the mask on the black better. I don't know, man. They're kind of both even to me. I think they really have unique looks to them both. So let me know down in the comment section below. But yeah, pretty freaking nice Grand Metalik figures, man. So for Grand Metalik's elite figure comparisons, guys, we really don't have anything besides his Lucha House Party partner, Kalisto, and uh, we saw Kalisto in singles action, so I'm not sure exactly if they're going to keep them together. I'm sure they are. It was just like a little one-off for the Lucha House Party. We are getting Lince Dorado in Elite Series 74, so that will be a cooler comparison to put all three in the same video. And we do know coming soon that we are getting a new updated Elite Kalisto, which will make our third Elite Kalisto, which will be very nice to put up next to the rest of our Lucha House Party. While I'm not very big fans of them as a tag team and coming out and stuff like that, I think individually they are talented and I like them so this is a pretty cool thing to see the Lucha House Party in figure form and I think they make for great figures man the luchadors and the masks and everything the bright colors are fantastic and uh, I'm happy to add Grand Metal League to our expanding WWE action figure roster so for Elias accessories guys we actually do get a little bit of things here you guys can see we have to come with Elias's guitar right I mean we have to come with Elias's guitar there's no buts about it right here it does look pretty good you got some nice details going on it is just a picture there's no sculpt on there or anything like that. I think we have seen this guitar before with the entrance greats Elias figure and it looks good. I like all, everything that we got going on with the guitar. We also have interchangeable mic holding hands because you guys know that what is Elias without a microphone? Obviously it's a standing microphone, not one that he usually holds, but he comes with interchangeable choke slamming hands on his regular figure. We have his rubber scarf right here which just flops over the top of the figure. You could actually put this on many figures, not just Elias. You could use it for Chris Jericho, Aiden English, among others that you could use for this scarf, but you do get a nice little dotted pattern going on with this scarf, so that's very nice to include with our Elias. And then we get this, I, I, I would have much rather preferred cloth here, but we do get a nice Elias t-shirt that is in rubber. Not a fan of these. I wish we would just get away from these at all because these buttons are usually really, really hard to, you know, snip on when you're trying to put them on the figure. You know, you gotta put them over there and then you gotta snip the buttons and then they have to stay buttoned and then over time they'll get loose and then, you know, I, I just don't think I'll use this. I'd rather pay somebody $5 for a custom t-shirt or something because I, I just can't stand these, man. They look okay, I guess, you know, for like photography and just chilling on the shelf, but I don't know, man. I just don't like how they come unbuttoned and stuff like that. But nonetheless, you do get the nice rubber Elias cutoff sleeves, but that is it for Elias' accessories, guys. So with that being said, let's move on to Elias himself. So on to Elias himself, guys. This head scan is pretty damn perfect. I mean, my God, this thing looks beautiful. This shit is amazing. Would you just look at that face? scan right there. This is definitely Elias. You can't even deny it. It looks just like him, and I love that we actually got a ponytail head sculpt because I think that since we got him in a ponytail head sculpt, does that mean that we can get Jeff Hardy, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, plenty of other guys that need ponytail head sculpts now that we've gotten Elias. Hopefully this is a trend that will continue as we move on. Same exact torso that we've seen with Elias before. Same shoulders, arms, everything like that. Same choke slamming hands. You do get the nice uh, dotted pattern that we saw on the scarf over here, and I don't 
don't think we've seen this color or this look from an armband or bandana from Elias before, so this is a new color unless it came with a Luke Harper. We do get the little khaki slash green color to the pants. I would have preferred the skinny jean color. I know we got black with the first figure, then we got like a white, lightish khaki color for his entrance greats figure. So for this one, I mean, I like that it's a different pants color, but I think a light jean color uh, with this mold, you guys know, like the rolled up tight pants look, or maybe like a skinny jeans with like some Tims or something like that would have been a really cool look for this uh, Elias figure, but I still like it. You know, it's nothing too crazy. One thing I will say is my legs are kind of loosey-goosey, man. I don't know why that is. Uh, you guys can see there it's kind of loosey-goosey. The, the waist and everything's tight. Everything's tight except for the legs, so that's kind of disappointing, but Elias looks good, man. Nonetheless, the feet are kind of loose too, but I don't know, man. That leg right there is super loose. Like, look at that. I'm barely flicking it, so I'm definitely going to have to Mod Podge or something, but this Elias figure looks absolutely bomb. So getting into some Elias figure comparisons, guys, you will see we have his first Elite in the line over here on the left. I think it's the Elite 60, if I'm not mistaken, and we have the entrance greats Elias here on the right in the white pants. I would love to know down in the comment section below which one you like the best. You know, I'm going to be honest with you, I think I like the white pants the best, or the light khaki color, whatever the hell you want to call it. We saw the same color with the Ghostbusters John Cena and Ghostbusters HBK. I think that's the same exact color, especially with John Cena, but um, you guys can kind of see that I think this head sculpt is a little bit better than this one. This, or, or the entrance greats one, is pretty much the true effects version of the Elite 60, and then this one is a brand new head sculpt with the ponytail and everything. I just think it looks great, man. I mean, it's it's ridiculous how close it is, and it's kind of making me think about how, you know, kind of upsetting it is that, you know, we haven't seen Elias on television in a long time. It seems like I haven't seen him in a while. He hasn't been in anything meaningful since that Shane McMahon Roman Reigns deal that we had a couple months back, so I don't know. Hopefully Elias comes back. You know, it kind of got old with the same shtick over and over, but he's definitely talented, and he serves as a good character in WWE. I just think that, uh, I don't know, I'd like to see him back on TV, man. But let me know down in the comment section below which one you like the best. Honestly, I think I like the new one best. Uh, I think we may swatch, uh, switch these heads out. I just think I like this head a lot. The ponytail head sculpt is really nice. I'll probably make them interchangeable for like a match version and then, you know, a, you know, backstage or promo version or something. I'm not exactly sure, but that does it for our Elias Elite Figure Comparisons. All right, guys, it is that time of the review where we rank Elite Series 73 from worst to best in my own personal opinion. If you missed the reviews of Daniel Bryan and Aleister Black, Triple H and Kyrie Sane, definitely go back on the channel and watch those. I uploaded all three at the same time on the same day on Thanksgiving. Little Thanksgiving gift for you guys. So what we're going to do is rank these figures from worst to best. And to be honest with you, every figure in this set is very strong. I will say that it's a very complete set. And I love every single one of these individually. And whatever takes the worst ranking does not mean I hate the figure or dislike the figure. It just sort of shows how strong this Elite 73 set really is. So coming in at the bottom of the ranking, I am going to go with the Elite Series 73 Elias. Now, this one was actually very challenging. I thought that, you know, this head sculpt's very strong. I love this Elias figure. I think the head sculpt, again, is fantastic and everything, but ultimately my legs were loose, and, you know, I just, I don't know. I'm, these kind of are hard to pose sometimes, especially with the ankles. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I think it's like they have like a stiff leg syndrome or something. This one ain't got stiff legs, Brad. They have loose legs, but ultimately it is the weakest in my personal opinion, and I'm not as excited for it as I am for the rest of the wave. Now, coming in number, number five, guys, is going to be Triple H. Now, this was actually very, very tough for me, but after a lot of thinking and everything, since we already had the Elite Series 60, I know the head sculpt is actually an improvement. The waist joint is fixed and everything, but ultimately, it's pretty much the same Triple H figure that we've seen so many times before, except with the bearded bald head scan, which is a big deal, but it, uh, you know, and Triple H is one of my favorites of all time. It's just, I would prefer other figures as far as in the worst of best ranking today. I'm going to go with another figure over this one, and I wanted to, you know, place Triple H here. Even though I love Triple H and this figure to death, I did have to put it at the number five ranking. Coming in at number four, guys, is Grand Meta League. Now, this one and Triple H was very close, but after, you know, strong consideration, it's his first time in the line figure. He looks great. I like the new molds we got with this guy. I think he's really fun to pose around. I like his mask. I like, you know, the different colors he's got going on. I think you could use these parts. I don't think Sin Cara is going to be as rare anymore for parts and lower legs and, you know, the ball joint legs and stuff. These are on ball joints. Triple H is on ball joints. Kyrie Sane's on ball joints. Elias is on ball joints, but these two are not. Went ahead and throw that in there. Coming in at number three, guys, is going to be Kyrie Sane, and you guys know that's actually a really big deal for me. To put Kyrie Sane this high in the list, that means that it must be a very damn good women's figure because you guys know that I ultimately poop on women's figures, but this one's very strong. I love posing her around. I think she's very fun to play around with. Again, tight joints 
joints. Very nice in the hand. Feels good to pose around and everything. Looks just like her. Very great figure. Great accessories. And I know it comes with a rubber jacket, but overall, she comes in at number three, man. Fantastic figure. And coming in at the top two, guys, we have Aleister Black and Daniel Bryan. Was it any surprise? I don't think so, but rounding out our number two spot is going to be Daniel Bryan, and ultimately, it lifted up to number two because it's pretty much perfect. I mean, outside, you know, we've gotten the body mold before. It's a very plain figure, but you get the hemp title, and you get a freaking magnificent head sculpt. Great joints. Like, it feels great in the hand. It's a very, I'd say it may, it's the best Daniel Bryan to date. It's definitely the best Daniel Bryan, and then Aleister Black is at number one because the Target exclusive NXT figure was really hard to track down. It's a great attire. It has this new kick pad mold with the with the horns on it. You get the horn jacket. There's a way to fix the wrist tape issue. Great head sculpt, and it's Aleister Black, man. I mean, I don't know what to say. I just really love this Aleister Black. It's really, really flames. I love it, but it was very close between the two. Not a lot separating these two, much like Grand Metalik and Triple H. But that pretty much does it for my ranking of Elite Series 73. <laughs> oh, God, I vomited. Oh. But that pretty much does it for my ranking of Elite Series 73 from worst to best. And not only that, guys, but that pretty much does it for our two or three in one figure review on Elias and Grand Metal League, the Chase variant and the regular version. Again, I did post every single review of the full wave of Elite Series 73 up on the channel, and you guys can go watch all of those videos. Sort of a Thanksgiving gift from me to you. I hope you guys enjoy all three reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the videos. If you did, please hit me down in the comment section below. If you would like to pick up any of these figures or you uh, would like to grab anything else on Black Friday sale, guys, today, later on at 6 p.m. Eastern on Ringside Collectibles, use the promo code MDTOYS. You will save 10% as well as their Black Friday sale going down. They're going to have tons of fodder and tons of great figures and, you know, basics, playsets, accessories. You name it, they got it on Black Friday sale. You want to go over there, get in on that. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save some extra money, and uh, they probably have some cool free shipping options as well, and it's going to be epic, man. I'm going to be over there. You definitely want to look for me over the interweb. I'm going to be right there looking at you, waiting for you to purchase something, and if you don't, I'm going to come after you, but definitely go check out the rest of Elite Series 73 reviews. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Again, enjoy your Thanksgiving. A huge thank you from the MDT family to you. I'm thankful for every single one of you, and I wanted to tell you on this Thanksgiving holiday, I enjoyed reviewing all of Elite Series 73. I enjoyed the rest of it. Tomorrow, we're going to have an epic video, and I'm going to continue to film on Hell's Gate. Probably take today off, right, Brad? Because it's it's Thanksgiving, Brad. You need you don't need to film today. Let's, let's just chill out. But we will resume tomorrow, and we will uh, get some good food as well and I'm freaking starving. I'm gonna go get some food and fart in a bag. Enjoy the rest of your holiday and uh, yeah. Elite 73. Yeah.